Hello my besties and Amaras, welcome back to another episode of The Sexy Music Assassins Painting with TSMA Pagelia And welcome to our official YouTube channel And if you're new watching this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share and comment below And also, in today's painting tutorial, we are going to use Three mixed medias, alright A clean pour, puddle pour and a modified pour so we are going to use this acryl artist loft the creative inspirations and also please check out the link below you'll see all these materials in the description below so check out all the links and also if you are going to make an eligible purchase by clicking those links then we are going to get a small commission all right so now please check out all the links in the description below all right and if you're new watching this video please again don't forget to hit that like button share and comment below and also don't forget to follow all my tsma family on smill.com they're all amazing singers so what we are going to do we are going to paint this canvas with the artist love black color all right so as you can see we are showing you all the materials like this is spatula by liquid x all right and this black artist love and we are going to pour this now for our background so this is a clean pour directly from the bottle and by using this spatula we are creating this is not our normal painting tutorial all right so please i would recommend that you watch the entire video as you can see we only colored some parts of the canvas and now we are going to add another color well you can add other colors you know if you want to but me i prefer this red color so this is our tsma signature all right I call it the lazy painting <laughs> all right so we are using this artist love for it and creative inspirations acrylic paint these are the acrylic paints all right so this is a acrylic painting tutorial as you can see this is only I'm just doing our signature the tsma signature i call it again the lazy painting there you go there you go so you just simply get your spatulas and slide the color wherever and in any direction you prefer all right so clean pour is this kind of pour or painting pouring tutorial you know this involves pouring individual paints as you can see in different colors but i use here the red and the black directly onto the canvas instead of combining the paints in a cup like what i said this is not our ordinary painting not the normal one where we pour all the paints in a cup and this one also is for beginners all right this is also called dirty pour so it's a simple method of applying the paint onto your canvas and is used in several other acrylic pouring techniques or it can also be used alone just like what i'm doing right here this 
I am doing an abstract painting. Now, if you want to do this alone, just like this, then you can do that already. And I suggest that you use like three to four paints and it will be really, it will look good. Okay, there you go. So just don't, don't make it like muddy. All right, there you go. So try to cover all the canvas. All right. But make sure you don't make the paint or it, or your artwork muddy. All right. Once you use the the knife, you have to like wipe it to make it clean. All right. And now we are going to use this straw, of course. So what we are going to do now? All right. We are going to do a puddle pour you know this technique consists of a clean pour like what we did all right that uses a series of puddles to create layers of colors so you can pour your paints into one big puddle or like what i'm doing on here right now i'm doing like a crescent moon or half moon or you know Pour a series of smaller puddles across your canvas. There you go. You can put or use any paint of your preference. But me, I use this. These two, the artist loved and the creative inspirations. So if you want these materials, all right, you can do that. So... Pour a small circle of your first color, all right, on the canvas to create your first puddle. Pour the next color directly into that circle, all right? Then repeat the remaining paints until you have added the correct amount of paint that you need for the size of your canvas. And also you can add the paint in a particular order or circles or directions, you know, at a random face. So you can create as many puddles as you want. But whether you're making one large puddle with your paint or a series of smaller puddles, make sure you're using a small amount of each color. All right, so you can slowly tilt the canvas if you want, you know, toward each corner until the entire surface is covered. So some people want, or some artists, does running the paint off the sides in all directions. But me, I'm going to use the spatula to finish the corners or to do the editing all right all right so this is what we are doing on here all right so i suggest that you really have to watch the entire video we are doing a new technique of how to paint a acrylic paint all right so you know i would like to name this painting attitude all right so like this painting attitude is psychological construct you know it is an emotional and mental entity that inheres in or characterizes a person so these attitudes are really complex. It's really hard to like explain, you know. These are an acquired state through experiences. You know, when I said experiences, you say, you think about when the first time 
you were born, of course, the, your birthday. You know, it's an individual's predisposed state of mind, you know, regarding a value and it is precipitated through a responsive expression towards oneself, you know. Which in turn influences the individual's thoughts and actions. You know what I'm saying? So, attitude can be formed from a person's past and present. You know. You know what I'm... You know what my best is in Mars. No matter what's your status in life, you know. Just learn to be humble, humble. And put your feet on the ground, like always. And I say that money shouldn't be, shouldn't be a reason why you are going to change who you are. All right, money is not everything. All right. And your status in life. It's that's not who you are, but don't let that control you or change you or change your attitude. You know attitude is an evaluation of an attitude object from ex extremely positive or negative to extremely positive. Or the opposite, you know. So, most contemporary perspectives on attitudes, you know, permit that people can also be conflicted toward an object by simultaneously holding both the negative attitudes and the positive towards the same object <sighs> you know it can be a positive or negative evaluation of people objects ideas you know activities and it could be an abstract or a concrete or just anything in your environment you know, psychological tendency that is expressed by evaluating a particular entity with some degree of disfavor or favor. You know, it's also affect towards an object. You know, these are the discrete emotions or overall arousal. You know? This may influence the attention to attitude objects. The use of categories for encoding information, the judgments, the recall of attitude, the relevant information from the past, you know, when you're growing up, stuff like that. So the, these influences tend to be more powerful for strong attitudes which are based on elaborate supportive knowledge structure you know what I'm saying yeah, so what are the qualities of this or dualities the consciousness and the unconscious you know, the presence of two attitudes is extremely frequent. You know, sometimes you just do things consciously and unconsciously. Which means that consciousness has a constellation of contents different from that of the unconscious. You know. Sometimes also extroversion and introversion... You know, these are the attitude types, rational and irrational, you know, 
So you conceive reason as an attitude. The rational attitude now sub subdivides into thinking and feeling psychological functions, each with its attitudes. The irrational attitude subdivides into sensing and intuition, each with its attitude. You know, and then the individual and social attitudes. There you go. You know, these are determined by psychological factors like values, like what I said when you are growing up, the ideas, you know, beliefs, and your perception. You know, all these have complex role in determining a person's attitude. The val values are ideals guiding principles in one's life or overarching goals that people strive to obtain so you know so it's it's the persuasion theories say that you know in politics or successful persuaders are influencers convince its message recipients or the followers or its um subscribers you know into a selective perception or attitude polarization for turning against the opposite candidate through a repetitive process that they are in a non-committal state and it is unacceptable and doesn't have any moral basis for it and for these, they only require a chain of, like, persuasiveness message into a realm of plausibility. So, you know, also family plays an important or significant role in the primary stage of attitudes, you know. So initially, a person develops certain attitudes directly from their parents, you know, siblings, or grandma or grandpa <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh, so the there is a high degree of relationship between parent and children in attitudes found in them like what we already know that you know that you know so they say that If your mom is like this, then you're like this too. It's kind of like that, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're like, um, wondering why your neighbor is like that, then you think about, you know, oh, oh yeah, she's like that because her parents are like that. It's kind of like that. So societies play an important role in formatting the attitudes of an individual. Also the culture, you know, tradition, language, also influences the person's attitude. And also I would like to include the media also. The society, tradition, you know. And the culture teach individuals what is and what is not acceptable. But I say if you know that it's unacceptable, then you don't have to follow that, you know, because it's really not acceptable. So I say that you just have to like um, pick what you can pick from those experiences and set aside all the negative traits and just leave it there, you know. And just bring with you all the positive traits and just go on with your life, you know. All right. So, now we are doing the modified bloom by using the straw. 
there you go there you go when you're doing this just take your time all right you don't have to rush this one takes a lot of time and if you are happy with your artwork then just continue what you're doing all right there you go mm -hmm. just take your time all right So, try, try your best to become a better person. Be better by doing your best, you know. Good, better, best. The words of compliments, acknowledgements, or appraisal. You know, like what I said earlier, it starts from our childhood, you know. If anyone compliments us with these words, then our life will surely be happy. And we try to maintain the phrase by doing even more better. You know, similarly in adults, you know, we admire good qualities of other people. Like what I said, just pick what you can pick and just bring all the positive traits, you know, try to incorporate and ma many of us wants to become a better person you know better person means being a better human not an alien <laughs> just kidding you know try to like elevate our qualities positive qualities you know and to see the changes in us is a good thing you know a better person is and should be a role model a better person is a disciplined person well i say that be the best if we are better you know you know accept the things around you you know nobody is perfect really me i make mistakes all the time <laughs> you know all my life you know i made a lot of mistakes in the past of course but your past life whatever it is you know acceptance gives you the satisfaction and peace so i say there's no need to dwell in your mistakes you know all those past mistakes that's why i said past because it's or or they're already done you know can't we can't really like go back and fix them but just like what i said pick up some pieces and try to bring all the positive and positive experiences with you you know stay active do not dwell in your mistakes do things more than before and incorporate yourself with the power agility so for a better person you change yourself you know change the way you talk you know you change yourself your thoughts your attitude especially your habits you know be calm and have confidence in your changes of course be cheerful ever <sighs> you know change is the only thing that ever change and that's the permanent thing in this world is change so you have to keep that in mind but no drastic changes, you know, slow and steady changes. Makes better smoothly. 
all right so like what i said if you are doing this modif modified bloom you have to take your time you know i say also hope you change your uh, surroundings too by you like after after certain changes you know if you can change your life i say that also declutter as much as you can you know you will have more peace for real now if you can clean your room you know like for example you have old clothes or shoes that it, you know it won't really fit you anymore then just donate the things you don't want or you don't use you know because somebody in need of that you never know so as much as possible if you know you have a time to do that then dedicate yourself in helping others to you know the pleasure it gives you endless you know, if you can make other people smile then why not also enjoy each and every moment that enjoyment you know you won't get that back so i encourage everyone to be happy enjoy the little things around you you know not even things like enjoy enjoy everyone like enjoy um your family most of all and get excited by adoring also the nature if you want to like if he, if you are new like liking the nature like like touching the plants or planting seeds or whatever you know just explore new things you know be empathetic and eager to learn new things you know it will make you a better person i guarantee you that and also 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 i always tell this to my tsma family if someone um um made you feel bad or did hurt you somehow you know in the past or your friend hurt you or said something bad about you you know forgive and forget these are the two eyes for a better person really you know forget all the past mistakes you have done then forget others as well forgive yourself as well as others you know focus on new goals dreams just start fresh like but before we painted this it was a clean blank canvas start fresh spend time with your family and friends be happy feel happy make your surroundings happy and also be gentle and grateful to others be generous give as much as you can keep on adding to your list you know find how much you are thankful for you know be happy again all right try to make others happy a smile at the strangers be cheerful love you all bye